The Osprey Sojourn Shuttle Wheeled Duffel is a great big bag for those of you who don't like big bags. Sometimes though you need a big bag because you pack a lot of stuff or maybe you're traveling in the winter and have a puffy ski jacket with you. But sometimes you don't need all of that space and you're just left with a big bag. The Sojourn Shuttle 100 liter though is a bit of a best of both worlds because it can expand and collapse into the amount of space that you actually use. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here and today I want to help you travel smarter with my review of the Osprey Sojourn Shuttle 100 liter wheel duffel. That bag right there. This Osprey bag is a familiar shape for the brand because they've been using variations of it for well over a decade. I used the 60 liter version of the Sojourn for 12 years and that bag was nearly indestructible so I have a lot of confidence in the build of the Sojourn 100. The Sojourn stands upright at 78 centimeters or 30.71 inches and is about 19 inches or 48 centimeters across when it's not packed up. The diameter of the Sojourn 100 is 43 centimeters, again, when it's not full. It has two large 11 centimeter plastic wheels on the bottom that sit in this plastic base that helps keep the Sojourn upright and fabric components off the ground. The Sojourn comes in two colors, a corset green or this black, and there's a larger 130 liter version available as well. The exterior is recycled 500 denier nylon, a strong material that's very durable, and the front of the bag is secured with two large compression straps. Even though Osprey are using nylon as the material, and this being a bigger bag, it weighs 8.6 pounds or 3.9 kilos, which is about 10% less than bags around this size. Another nice thing about Sojourn is how many handles there are all over the bag. There are two thick carrying handles on the left and right side of the bag, which is handy if you're left-handed, but also depending on the weight distribution of what you pack, it might be easier to carry on the left or right side. There's a large carrying handle on the top, one on the front, and the plastic bottom frame has a cutout too that can be used as a handle for carrying with two hands. On the move, the Sojourn is made to roll at an angle on two wheels and Osprey have created a redesigned telescopic handle that doesn't have a button but rather you push into the plastic to extend it. A few things about this handle, it does take a good amount of force to push it enough to release the handle, it's not easily one-handable, and the handle doesn't extend very far. I know this is a tall piece of luggage already, but if you're on the taller side too, it might not be as comfortable to roll this bag. I'm also imagining too that you call a taxi or an Uber and they show up and they want to take this bag and throw it into the trunk so they're fiddling around with the handle and it takes a few extra seconds for them to figure it out. If you've traveled long enough, you know what I mean and you know how many seconds or minutes that kind of awkwardness is when they're trying to figure out how to use your bag. So I don't know if I would have preferred a button here. Maybe this is more durable or this is just more efficient, but it's going to confuse some people. Still, the Sojourn is well built to take a beating. There are thick plastic guards on the sides, thick zippers, and the exterior wall of the Sojourn is thick too. When you're not using the Sojourn, you can use the compression straps to straight jacket this into a much smaller storage size and at first glance empty, the Sojourn 100 liter doesn't seem so big. And that's one of the things I like about the Sojourn 100 liter is that when it's not packed up full, it really is a lot smaller than it seems because you can use those compression straps to really tighten up the bag so that it's not as big and it doesn't kind of splay out. So it gives you the benefits of being a hard case where you're pretty much limited by the shape of the bag, but a little bit better because you can actually shrink this bag down by pulling on those compression straps and tightening everything up. And on the flip side, because of those compression straps, you can really fill this bag up. In the interior, there is one main compartment, two middle-sized compartments, and a slim back pocket on the Sojourn. The main compartment is one big bucket with three internal compression straps. I find those compression straps very useful because they let you pack in more than you would be able to otherwise. And if you don't have so much stuff to pack, it helps keep everything secure and in one place. Those straps also reduce the strain on the exterior of the bag, although the Sojourn is designed to expand. Because of this design though, I think the Sojourn is better suited for packing clothes as opposed to gear, because it is really one big bucket. Yeah, there are those two compartments on the top and the bottom, but it's not like a lot of other bags that have dividers, so it has subsections where you can easily sort of fit in things that might be bulkier or don't collapse as easily like a tripod or something like that. But for clothes, for things that actually can compress, the design is really geared for that because you have so many compression straps. And on the flip side, when you want to overpack this bag, it will just blow it up really nicely. Not to say that this bag can't do gear, but if you are going to pack a lot of gear, you have those compression straps to help keep things in place, but you're probably going to be better off using some kind of organizational cube or something to better store that 
awkwardly shaped gear so it doesn't move around too much. Unless again, you're overpacking the bag, you're filling it to capacity. But if you're just packing gear in here, that's going to have room and space to shift and move around, you're probably going to want to add some organization to this bag. Aside from the big bucket, there's this spacious soft pouch on the top that can be used to pack things you might want to grab easily, like a protein bar or a fresh pair of socks. On the bottom, there's a compartment you can use to separate dirty laundry or shoes. On the back, this flat panel where on smaller versions of the Sojourn, there are backpack straps, so you could strap this bag to your back. On this version of the Sojourn, they haven't added that. So Osprey haven't added backpack straps here. So you can use it as additional storage for an extra shirt or maybe a light jacket. The back pocket is also where you can place a luggage tag, but I personally prefer those to be somewhere on the exterior where they can be found without having to open a pocket. Now Osprey have stitched on a metal TSID tag that can be scanned with a QR code if the bag is lost, but I'd rather have that as an optional piece that I can choose to use or not. What I like most about the Sojourn 100 liter, aside from its durability, is that it's a bag that can be as big or as small as you need it to be. Now, that can be problematic if you have a tendency toward overpacking, but if you're like me and you travel for months at a time and you travel across various different climates on that same trip, so you've got that big winter jacket with you, but you also have summer gear with you, you need a bag that's going to be able to carry a variety of different gear across a variety of different climates. If that sounds like you too, then the Sojourn 100 liter might be the right size for you. Thanks very much for watching. That's my review of the Sojourn 100 liter wheel duffel shuttle, the 100 liter shuttle wheel duffel. That's my review. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Now I'll see you in the next video.